Well, I'm editing part two of the Cuyahoga Valley trip, and I'm glad you're back to see this completion of the trip to the Cuyahoga Valley. It was a great time and a great trip. In this video, you're going to see an additional waterfall, the Blue Hen Falls. You're going to see the ledges that are there at the park and also one of the covered bridges. I want to take a second, too, to ask you to like this video and subscribe and ring the bell so that you can get future notifications as we continue to share adventures, tips, and trainings with you every week. And again, thanks for joining us here today. Well, next stop is gonna be Blue Hen Falls, and we'll be doing that one just you and me. Michelle had a conference call, so I've been dropped off. We'll be walking to the falls together right now. Actually is a nice trail to the falls. Very peaceful. Win or lose, we take it easy. Day by day, oh that's what we do. Watching people all stressed out, running through their lives, a game they play. Set up for our shot at the Blue Hen Falls. Again, I put a four stop neutral density filter on this. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon, so we're getting some really bright sunlight coming just about straight down through the clouds. But I think that'll be a nice play of, of light, give us some nice specular highlights along the falls as they come over the rock. But then the underneath, the shale underneath, the, the undercropping is gonna be in so much shadow, we're not gonna be able to see any detail. So I'm going to stack exposures on this to bring that detail out. I feel blessed beyond belief at this location of the Blue Hen Falls, the freedom and the time to be able to fully explore this and get all these various photographs. Obviously, I've set up for yet another shot. I think what I'm going to do is just run a sequence of some different photographs that I have taken of the falls here, rather than going through the setup of each and every one. You kind of get an idea of how everything is set up, how I focus, how I work. Just sit back and enjoy.
Well, that wraps us up for the Blue Hen Falls. Now it's just a matter of walking the trail back and getting Michelle to pick me up because there's no parking here at the moment. It probably has to do with the COVID-19, plus the fact I have a feeling a bunch of people were parking along the road illegally and it was creating a real traffic issue. The roads leading up to this area are very twisty and windy and you can't, and hilly, so you can't see very far in front of you. For us flatlanders, it's always a little bit different that way. uphill. That's a lot of hill for a vintage guy like myself. I see these orange mystery plants grow abundantly in Ohio as well as Michigan. Well now I sit by the side of the road and wait to be picked up as my iPhone is almost dead. Now I don't know if you know this but I film almost all the video sequences in my vlog on my iPhone and I did remember to bring a battery with me to recharge it in case this were to happen but I forgot the cable and I cannot plug the battery directly into the phone hopefully this stays alive long enough to get everything finished today so we are now on the trail to the ledges so it looks like we might get five different things in at this uh, National Park today the Cuyahoga National Park I don't know if there's anything to photograph here at the ledges but it looks to be a nice hike down the way This is the Ledges Trail, and uh, it should be should make for an interesting hike. This is really pretty through here, and I don't really think the video does it justice, the richness of the color. This is really an amazing landscape through here. You can see what the what this walk is like. It's just, beautiful. just beautiful. We are heading out of the ledges right now. It is uh, actually much darker than it looks like in this video here. It's uh, it's ethereal, it's eerie. We passed a couple of, that was going by and they said, this is like the land that time forgot. And it is, you expect a dinosaur or something to be coming out around the next rock outcropping. But this is stunning. It's uh, someplace we're gonna have to come back to and visit because I would love to be able to complete this entire walk of the ledges, but we've gotta cut it short today. Now we're traveling to the covered bridge. Item number five. 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 
Well, we have arrived at the Everett Covered Bridge and we're walking across the bridge. It is a footbridge that's covered and uh, looking for a vantage point. We're getting pretty close to uh, golden hour coming up really soon. We've arrived at the bridge and we've walked the trail down and come underneath it and walked around a little bit. So I remember when our kids were little and um, we took them out owling with a group. A whole bunch of us got together. We got up at about two in the morning, got out, went out with the kids and tried to find an owl. But the uh, owler, is that what they call the person? The owler, owlist? The owl hunter warned us all. Sometimes you see an owl and sometimes you don't. We never saw an owl that day. The kids understood. They were a little bit disappointed, but not terribly. This is one of those situations. We've gotten to the bridge and there really isn't a view or a vantage point, even waiting till golden hour. There's too much foliage, there's too much stuff in the way and the creek's a little bit too high to traverse across. So I'm not really set up for that. I don't have with me, as they call them in England, wellies or wellingtons or hip waders to get across this water. I think we're only gonna be four. We got our four shots, like we said at the beginning, just not the extra fifth one. 